Hello everybody and welcome back to the Moshiks mainframe channel. This is Moshiks. Whenever people start to run their own mainframes, uh, usually emulated on, uh, on top of Hercules or other emulators, one of the first things they uh, typically want to do is change the log on screens. And that's, that's normal and understandable. People want to personalize their own mainframes immediately and make them feel like they, they really own their own mainframe. And so there's always a lot of questions about how to change the log on screen. Sometimes they're called VTAM screens. Uh, sometimes they're called USSN screens or uh, network uh, solicitor screens. They have various names. But, but indeed, it is one of the main questions you see on the mailing list for MVS and various other mainframe operating systems. How do I personalize the log on screen? And here you see um, in this browser window, if you go to mainframesproject.tumblr.com, uh, there is somebody here running a script that connects to all mainframes it can find on the internet and the address. And uh, it shows the, you know, there's a tradition of uh, making your own logon screen uh, to fit whatever, you know, what it is you're doing. Some companies, for instance, they put in uh, a disclaimer, uh, it's often publicly accessible mainframes, they uh, tell you that everything you do is recorded and uh, remind you of the laws about, you know, about about not disturbing other people's computers, etc. So, uh, in this video, we're going to go and and uh, personalize the logon screen on uh, on our beloved MVS TK4 Update 8. It is now uh, middle of June 2021, and at some point, uh, Update 9 is going to come out. But I, I doubt it's going to be different when it comes to personalizing the logon screen. Now, uh, the good thing is that there is uh, this repository on GitHub called MVS-Sysgen Netsol, and Netsol stands for Network Solicitor Screen. So that's what it is basically, and. Um, and there is a repository here that has a bunch of ready-made logon screens, such as uh, here, just uh, one with text. Uh, and that's particularly mm, easy one to use because then you can just you can you could just go and change the text and personalize the text. Uh, here is one that uh, follows kind of the Docker whale, uh, one that looks like the 80s um, entropy, various ones. And now here's the Hercules one and then this is the one that I uh, that I tried and, and worked fine for me because I kind of like this uh, like this uh, this design here and so we're going to go and get one now before we do that there's also some more that we can read about it so the repository contains a varied selection of network solicitor screens for use with MVS 3.8j most of these were generated with this tool so he also th this person uh, uh, mainframed that's his GitHub handle. He's also known as Soldier of Fortran, uh, well known in the and the enthusiast and and security professionals communities uh, of the mainframe. He also has his own tool that allows you to kind of design a logon screen, and then from there it will produce then a batch job, which you can run on MBS TK4, and uh, and then just that and and that will make you. Uh, get as a result the uh, net network solicitor screen that you want. So in this video we're just going to go through the procedure of getting a virgin MVS TK4 and getting one of these logon screens and then uh, show you how easy it is to install and get it to work. So um, I have here a Linux system Okay, and I have already downloaded TK4 here. Maybe we can make the font a little bit bigger so it's easier for you to see. Appearance, let's go for 18 points. It's going to be a little weird for me to work with such a big font, but I think for you it's going to be easier to read. And it's all about the viewers in this channel. Alrighty, so I make a directory called MVS38. I'll move the TK4. TK4 into MVS38. And now it's just a question of going into the directory and unzipping TK4. That's quite fast. 
and now um, and by the way this would work exactly the same with Windows it doesn't matter if it's Windows or Linux uh, now as you know once you start MVS right out of the box once you install it from from a virgin distribution of TK4 it will actually come up without the console displayed on the Hercules console uh, you can still access it over the web but I prefer to have it inside the Hercules console so you go to unattended which is this directory over here and we say set console mode so this will now set the console mode, we go back and we can just now start it. So we just say MBS and this will start to run. Be a little bit smaller here. And we connect the terminal to this address. Now when you connect first a terminal to a Hercules, you will always get a splash screen. But this is a Hercules splash screen. This is not the network solicitor. So it's very important to keep these two apart. This is display by Hercules and is actually very easy to uh, edit by, with any editor you can go. It's just a, uh, some variables that, that Hercules takes from the operating system. And then this is just uh, text. You could you could go and change. And maybe I'll show this towards the end of the video how to change the, the Hercules spl splash screen. But we, and what you just saw here now, this is now, as it just changed, this is now the network solicitor screen that we're going to go and change. So now the next step, of course, is how do we get the, uh, the job control for the skull uh, network solicitor screen, this one, how to get the job control that has this assembly program into MVS. There's several, several routes. Uh, we could start the FTP server that comes with every TK4, or we can just do a terminal uh, we can just upload it through the terminal uh, um, uh, upload. So we go here. I say I log on as Hercules01. Password is always see you later. And um, I have it also. I downloaded Skull also by desktop, so I can just transfer with terminal transfer. And we're going to put it into. Uh, CNTL, that's fine. Herc Herc01.test of CNTL. That's one of the data sets that come pre installed with every TK4. We say here it's text, we say it's TSO, and we just send it, and that was very fast. So now we return to uh, into the panels, TSO panels, and we go and check what's in there, Herc01, and it should be here, and here it is. Okay, perfect. So this should be a perfect copy of this. As I said, there's various versions to put in through the card reader, many, many versions. And I have a video in this channel on how to get data in and out of MVS on top of Hercules. So we're not going to repeat it here. Um, so we can look at all the code. As you can see, this is just assembler, uh, just data definitions, which then a processor uh, once it's assembled, takes it and puts it on in the right directory in VTAMLib so that this uh, network solicitor screen is going to be referenced at next IPO, IPL of the computer. We actually don't even need to IPL fully, we just need to take down some systems such as VTAM so that VTAM, when it comes up, it will find the new, um, the new uh, network solicitor screen. So uh, let's see what we need to do to run this. So it's um, I want to change it to this Herc 01 N for Network Solicitor. Build Netsol, that's fine. Let's see if anything else here. Would uh, we assemble it? Yeah, that's fine. So I think this is all fine. Um, we can just execute it. So if you keep an eye here now on the MIPS counter, when I run this, you should see some action here in terms of IOs per second and MIPS. So let's keep an eye on it and I launch it now. Yep, it's assembling it and put it in the right place. Now let's go see how the assembly went. Start 3.8 to get the second screen. Uh, and fantastic so we see a return code all zeros so this went well we went through assembly and that's the output so so 
that's you basically assemble a new logon screen and given all the macros there's quite a bit more we can see that the macros are being expanded how do we know that because of the plus sign here this means that uh, this this is a macro that's been expanded from a macro definition okay it's actually quite a few lines here let's go to the bottom yeah, as you can see here, a lot of variables symbols being defined and used it's there's more work <laughs> involved than people may think but this went well so now all that we need to do is we log out from TSO because we cannot shut down TSO if we're logged in log off and we say here we go to the MVS console and we say stop TSO okay so this went down and then we say um, let's see what's running let's stop F1 we don't need that Stop JRP. Oops. Stop JRP. Stop Snassel. Okay. And now we say Z net quick. Z net means uh, shut down net quick. And now net is VTEM. That's the job name for VTEM. And here you see net has ended. So VTEM is down. And there's nothing magic about the name. We could just call it VTEM and then it would show up as VTEM. But uh, it is the convention to call it net. So uh, okay, STP. Okay, so now we can just start uh, net again. And this should also bring up. Oh, here it is. That was very fast. So as you can see, um, the logon screen is now already on. That was very quick. So um, now, how do we make some change? Let's say we put in, we want to put some text in here, right? So we log in. Eric Herg01. See you later is the password. We go to the job, which, as we said, is here, skull. And let's look if we launch a different terminal. It's easy. Oops. Uh, we just have to search for 3.8j and if we search for that find 3.8j um, this is now the definition for this string here and it looks like um, where can we put some text in here so 10 9 so this is the line number if I get this correctly yeah it goes by line so at 953 this should be 53 yes exactly see 953 so now we can just find 10 53 where do we have the 10 we just have to go next line but a little bit to the right and so there's nothing there 1043 okay so I think we could just change this and say here Moshik's YouTube channel uh, I don't know if this is enough 36 characters but I think so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 yeah I think it should be enough why don't we run this again and see what comes out let's keep an eye here on the MIPS indicator Make this maybe a little bit smaller so it's easier to keep an eye on it okay so let's run this again it's executing it and we go start 3.8 and this also went fine so all zeros so let's try to get uh, our new Moshix YouTube channel here so what do we do we log out of course from MVS then uh, 
and we go to the MVS console and we say stop TSO and it's down net z net dot quick uh, comma quick and that's it it's already down start net and here it is so there's a little error here it comes up twice we have to go find out why but um, that should be easy to fix but so that's um, that's how easy it is to uh, change the network solicitor screen once you have the proper JCL not having the JCL not having the assembly of course would make it very hard to do but so that's how easy it is now now that we've done that we want to also change the Hercules splash screen so I'm gonna um, take the system down I could just say quit here but uh, it's not nice to kill uh, MVS like that let's be respectful to MVS so we say uh, F BSP pilot shut now and this will take down everything yeah it's going down there's not much else running so yeah, VTEM is going down. IST is the three letter abbreviation for VTEM in the messages. Okay. I think that's it. Almost down. As I said, we could just kill the session, but I just want to be respectful of MBS. In the old days, he wouldn't just shut down, just turn off the power from a mainframe. Uh, you would take it down gracefully. So, mm. so termination is in progress we just have to wait a little bit in the meantime yeah so that's it it's this is now hasp which is just two almost down we can now at this point just say quiet okay all right, so how do we change the splash screen of Hercules? Uh, that's actually quite simple. We go in the director here, we should see a Hercules, Herc logo. Here you see Herc logo text, so we can go in Herc logo text. And you can see it has a bunch of uh, areas where it just takes name from the operating systems like variables from the operating system and then all the rest is just um, it's just text okay so let's say we want to put in here something new um, let's say ASCII art there's a website I really like um, ASCII yeah this one if you go to this website I, we can just put in here Moshix and test all the various ways to write it in ASCII and let's just say this one okay so we can go here to the end okay so it's there and when we say mainframe oh, let's maybe select a different way to write it Let's take this one. Select and copy. Okay, so we make it a little bit shorter here. Okay. Alrighty, so now if I start again uh, MVS and connect any any monitor, you'll see that now we have this is the splash screen for Hercules which we can change any way we want. We have these variables which are taken directly from the operating system, x86, two processors, and all that stuff. And as soon as VTAM comes up, so now MVS is starting. See, already JS2 is already up and running. So it's in the process of starting everything. As soon as VTAM comes up, VTAM will present its own uh, logon screen. 
Now, this is the procedure for MVS 3.8. Of course, it's a little different for later versions of MVS. Okay, here, there we go. So, very simple. Uh, and you have plenty of examples here on this uh, very nice job that uh, um, main, uh, Soldier of Mainframe did here, that's his name, uh, with, uh, with having a way to automatically create those logon screens, uh, ANSI to EPSIDIC, etc. They did a very good, nice job. And for it, right now there's like six or seven um, logon screens. Uh, I'm sure that over time there's going to be more. But I'm going to put in the description below this video the link to this you know, GitHub repository, as well as, of course, um, the link to this website with all the uh, mainframes out there on the web that can be reached and where you can see examples of logon screens. Anyway, so it's quite simple. Uh, if you need to pause and look at it, certain parts again, then, of course, uh, that's easy to do. If you have any questions, then please post them in the description below this video. Thank you for watching. Uh, if you have not subscribed to the Moshix mainframe channel yet, now would be a very good time to do it. Thank you and goodbye.